Hi there, it's Sherman. Leave a Legacy, episode number 27. Still continuing with the Titanic series, May Their Lives Serve as a Warning to Others. This is number nine. This is the, the ego entrepreneur, a cousin really to number three, which is the uncoachable. The ego entrepreneur, the, the unique thing about them is that they are typically your type A personality. They have a lot of confidence in who they are. And typically, the, the struggle though is that they're their self-awareness is tweaked in that they do not even see their weaknesses. They almost view themselves as um, close to perfect. Um, sometimes they'll use um, <laughs> the self-deprivating uh, uh, comments or phrases really with hoping to elicit a compliment uh, based on who they are. Um, <clears throat> the struggle with the ego entrepreneur is that because they, as they start out their, their business, they actually don't believe the market. So when the market says, hey, I don't like what you're selling, I don't like your service, I don't like your model, then they don't have the ability to change what they're doing. And so they get... They, they, they dig in and they still continue to beat at their drum thinking that it's the greatest drum. And the problem is, is the person that is coachable, that pivots, that has a better marketing strategy ends up then being the conqueror because they listen to that feedback from the marketplace. They make the necessary adjustments to their, to their process or to their, to their product and they're able to then sell it. So the way to be able to avoid this for yourself is to be able to identify where your ego is getting in the way. Are you not listening to the results of what's actually happening? Are you going out there and, and saying, hey, this is who we are as a company, this is who we are um, when it comes to our, our solutions. Are they actually solving the, the problems that exist? And is that problem really there? It reminds me of the, um, the, the product Febreze when it first came out. Um, they had to spend millions of dollars, billions of dollars into the R&D on this, and it literally molecularly gets rid of smells. But the problem is, is that the way that it was pitched is that your house kind of stinks, your car kind of stinks, you stink, so you should buy this stuff. Well, most people don't want to be told that they stink, and so they had to massage and tweak the way that they uh, that they went about it. And that's where you know the phrasing of known known <laughs> known blindness came from. And uh, their marketing totally made that change. And so they were able to then recognize that, hey, even though we're really bright, we created this amazing product. It's a scientific breakthrough, really, when it comes to um, this the, 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 the sense of smell. They had the humility to listen to the market that wasn't buying the product and then make the necessary changes. All right. Have a fantastic day.